dude. I, I took my girl to like make out point last night. Dude, that's so rad. Yeah, I know. We just like went at it. It was so dude, cool. Dude, that's awesome. I know. And then I like. <laughs> Loser. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> what am I? Oh my god, you're sharing Mercury? That's sweet. So I am know, I. right? Yeah. <laughs> no way. And now three cons to colonizing Mercury. The gravitational interaction with the sun results in more difficulty when launching craft to and from Mercury. The planet has water ice at its poles, which sit in permanent darkness. Mining this ice would be a very good way to live off the land. Holy crap! If vital resources are found outside the caps, then they may prove very difficult to extract. Dave, stop! Oh, hey guys, it's me again, back with another vlog about Mercury. <laughs> hey guys, so we chose to colonize this because Mercury's gravity is 33% and Earth's is 90%, which makes it one of the most habitable planets in our solar system. Yeah! Oh. All right, Mercury and the moon both have uh, massive craters on them formed from violent impacts. They are both uh, mostly gray to the naked eye, and both crusts contain large amount of silicon and oxygen together forming mineral silicon. Three pros to colonizing Mercury. The planet has water ice at its poles, which sit in permanent darkness. Mining this ice would be a good way to live off the land. Mercury's slow rotation makes it possible to spend time here. One day on Mercury equals 176 days on Earth. A year on Mercury is less than a day. There are no seasons on Mercury because of the tilt of the axis relative to the planet's orbit.